All right, Casey Cameron Boy here, working on First Amendment audio on this county airport. Let's see if they respect their freedom of press. Uh -huh. hey. She's right in her name. Welcome to the city of Spokane. Yeah, that's it. Hi. Yeah. What's happening? Just it's like I know this guy from somewhere. Greystone, San Luis Country Club. Country oh, did you come out to the country club? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let me get him. Get, get him filming, I filmed the old <laughs> terminal a long time ago, like four years ago, when yeah. it was still open. I was the first one to do it. That was a while ago. That was a long yeah, time ago. I think that was like 2000. <laughs> this terminal is much better. Yeah, this terminal is next green. Yeah, yeah. And next green. The only nice. flaw is there's really not a whole lot of space for people to pick up people and drop people off. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. That's, I could tell that. Uh, That's about the only issue we have out here, though. Oh man. Yeah, That's LAX cool. is such a zoo. Like when I used to, when I lived in LA, I Uber drove for a while, and I never went to LAX. Yeah. I just it, it wasn't worth it. It's just such a hassle getting in and out of there, and huh. then you got You're supposed to meet the passenger at a, a designated pickup drop-off point, and half the sure. time they don't know where it is. They walk out of the terminal and they're like, "Where are you?" You know. Well, the signage here is tough because like the handicap spots are on the paper. Oh, okay. So if you can picture driving up to the airport and kind of looking where you're either picking someone up or dropping someone off, you're not going to be looking at the pavement. Yeah. So oh, okay. people park in the handicap spot all the time. Oh. So. Okay. Well, you sound lenient yeah, to it. You oh. sound lenient to it. You sound like you know that there's a problem in like. Oh, it's just common sense. Yeah. I mean, that too. It should be common sense. It's, yeah. just, it's just about trying to get people in and out of here. Yeah. In some sort of orderly fashion. Yeah, that, yeah. what's so what's that, if it's a body on the floor? You're just gonna drive on top of it too? I mean, <laughs> people people don't pay if they didn't pay attention to like the little wheelchair that's in blue, could have been a person, kind of an example. Sure. You know, yeah, I mean that's common sense. You're right in that. So, how's work here? It's good. It's good. It's yeah. more. Yeah. It, it's not as stressing. You're not like in a fear. You know, I mean 911 and all that. It's not here. It's well, you know, well, you maybe think. Not. <laughs> I mean, the biggest thing I think in law enforcement is you have to try not to become complacent. You know, oh. it's similar to what you guys are doing. You guys are, are making sure your First Amendment rights out there and you're protecting that. Yep. Yeah. Same thing, just because it's slow and there's not a lot of crime here, doesn't mean I can just drop my guard. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? You For, never know. Yeah. It's like you guys need to keep making sure the First Amendment's respected and people yep. are able to exercise that. Hey. When you're in a situation like this in your law enforcement, you just have to make sure you're still prepared. Yeah. yeah. Prepare for the worst and hope for the best. That's it. That's the. Uh, that's a motto there. That's yeah. true. Yeah. That's true. So yeah, you just wow. gotta, I mean, it's it's certainly not anywhere near busy like patrol is. Oh. You know, but we still have situations sometimes with homeless people who come into customers that miss their flight because they come oh, 15 man. minutes before the flight's going to Yeah, they want to close open the flight and they, you can't, yeah. <laughs> they show up for a 6.15 flight at 6 o'clock and they're like, stop the plane. Oh, they ain't going to stop. Wait they think second. that because they got yeah. 15 minutes that it doesn't. Yeah, no, they they happened to me in stop. Chicago once. <laughs> yeah, they don't understand that a 6.15 flight means wheels up and in the air at 6.15. Yeah. So then you got to drop back 20 minutes for boarding and then drop 20 minutes back for security check. Damn. So you got to be here 45 minutes oh, wow. before your flight's supposed to take off. Here I mean, in wow. Are you the, I mean, I don't know if you were sure answered this question because I mean, it's kind of like logistic. Um, are you the only officer or deputy? There's, there's a deputy assigned here for, okay. for all outgoing flights. Yeah. So there's, there's always a deputy here when flights are departing. So you're pretty busy then. Yeah, we've had, we get like 10 flights a day. 10 okay. flights a day? 10 flights. Oh, wow. And I think a lot easier in Santa Maria. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And wow. I think there's going to be a couple more flights coming in. Um, I think the end of the month, we're going to bring a couple more flights in. Maybe another oh. flight to LA. That'd be cool. So, That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, because I was asking him if we can um, depart from here to Vegas. Can you, if you can fly here? Uh, out Vegas? of here from Vegas, yeah, to well, Vegas. They have a direct flight from Santa Maria to Vegas. Damn. That's what I was talking okay. about. Oh, it was Santa Maria, okay. Santa Maria. Yeah. Okay. Santa Maria, I'm sorry. Uh. Um, I forget what the name of the airline is. Allegiant. 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 Yes. Yeah. Man, it's a bunch so of airlines. They, they, take, they handle that, but they don't have one, I guess, to uh, LA. So. Oh. LA kind of comes and goes here. Like when I first started here in January, they had a flight to LA. And then it kind of quit because there were like very not few, much very few passengers like five 
yeah. plane that holds seven. It happened to me when I flew from Fresno to Washington. I thought like 10 people on a big old plane, on like a 50 passenger plane, but the, the ticket was kind of expensive too. So that's when they mess you up, you know, when they see, I mean, there's not, not much passengers, we still got to cover the crew at least, you know. So. Right. They get you in it, they'll get you. Well, now it's interesting because the big complaint, I guess, from passengers is the tickets aren't too bad, but then they charge you for your miles. Uh, yeah, Allegiant does it. And they just Spirit does it too, I think. Out not being a bad ticket price, but then after you add everything add, up, it, it know, adds up. It does add up. Base car, you know, yeah. Put on a base car and then it for oh man. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. Like Allegiant's notorious for that. You see that flight, you go, oh, seventy-nine dollars, uh, Santa Maria, Las Vegas. You go, hey, and yeah. then like, oh, you, you want to carry on? <laughs> no, what what major airline charge? Like, like Delta doesn't charge for carry on. No, know? they don't. They you know, it's forty dollars, and then forty dollars there, forty dollars yeah. back, and and then I even like my mom took that flight to that Allegiant flight to Vegas once, and she they even charge you for things like a bag of peanuts. Oh, wow, you know, like two dollars, right? It's like what? Yeah, you don't get anything wow. but the seat. Nothing's complimentary. Right. Just a seat. Oh, and then <laughs> if you want to choose your seat, like say, oh, I want an aisle seat, or when do you got to pay extra? They'll charge you. Yeah, American the Airlines does that too. American, American does that? I think so. Yeah. I think so. I always fly Delta. Yeah. I don't know. My loyalty is Delta. Yeah. But they obviously they have flights. I got miles too, so I use them. I got saved up a lot of miles because of COVID, I never used them. Right. Yeah, so I gotta use them. I still got a ticket too that I was gonna go to Reno. I still haven't used it. Get a credit. I, th I think you gotta make sure read the fine print because I, oh. I was in that situation and they they basically told me we're gonna refund you, but we're gonna charge you $50 a ticket for processing. Wow. Oh, yeah, they can. Yeah, or if you absolutely. wanna change yeah. it. I'm gonna look no. into it, yeah. I'm gonna get the money back. Actually, they gave me a year, I think, to fly mm -hmm. and have those same three tickets. But then when that didn't happen, they, like, before the year was up, two months before the year was up, they called me and said, well, we're gonna just refund you the money because COVID's well, still yeah. a problem. And then they charged me 50 bucks a month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They gotta, I'm like, oh, okay, they, they gotta make their cool. money. They gotta make their money somehow. I guess. Or at least stay with some of your money. Yeah. yeah. Well, so where, where are you guys based out of? Are you based out of the coast here? Or are you, I'm, Santa I'm, Maria. I'm Bakersfield. From I'm from Bakersfield. Okay. Yeah, I'm from Bakersfield. I'm, I'm Santa Maria. I'm from Bakersfield. Right. Semi-local. Or Kern County, that's my channel. Kern County Transparency. Isn't it Kern County Transparency? Yeah. That's it? Okay. Yeah. You watched it before? Maybe? I've seen it. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. I'll put you good today there. We always been professional. I think she's always been professional. Yeah, always been. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, got no, I, got I think a couple people got huffy with you over there. Yeah. It didn't seem like too big a deal. Yeah. No, not really. Yeah. I was actually spraying with. You know what's funny is when you showed up, we were going to leave. Like, we were like, all right, well, you know. It's crazy. Yeah. Always when we went to leave. And then you showed up. <laughs> yeah, but well, we were actually going to leave. Because trust me, we do wait for you guys. We have to wait. Because, I mean, what if you actually think that we did something wrong and we don't know and you're going to start like a, like a search for us or something? So we'd rather just stay and take it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we do. That's what no, we that's do. That's a responsible thing to do. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're not, because then people are going to be like, oh, they, they were wrong. We weren't wrong. We were right. And then if we leave, they're going to be like, so. Yeah. No, if, yeah. You, right. if you leave, they're going to expect that. Yeah. You're they're going to think, and then you guys might think, oh, yeah, they were, they were right. The people from here were right. So yeah, we're not trying to get that, you know. No, I think it's a good lesson learned. When you have yeah. It. And I don't know if you've seen or watch my videos. At the end, I don't go around and bash people off. I try not to, you know, because if they learn, they learn, you know, you know, if they got educated, why am I going to make fun of them just because yeah, they got right. educated? Give credit where credit too. Yeah, 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 just walk away and that's it. Like people here, they were nice. Everybody was nice. Everybody Even the lady over there, she didn't want to be filmed. She was still nice. Huh? Why are you filming me? We're doing a, a thing about the airport. Oh, I know they're not. You know, you were laughing about when you were in the pepper planes, trains, and automobiles. Oh, the yeah. The car lady. Uh -huh. kind of. Remind me. <laughs> yeah. It's All right. Well, movie. awesome. Well, have a good day. I thought she was Thank a dad for a moment. Yeah. I thought she was a dad. Awesome. You know, can, one one quick question: Is there like if I, if you rented from a Hertz in town, would it be cheaper or, or more expensive than renting like at the airport? The airport in town would be cheaper. Oh, because the airport charges. They it. charge their fees, yeah. For the convenience. Okay, mm -hmm. makes yeah. sense. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Groovy. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. We didn't give it poop. Do you do the black boxes on people who want to be filmed? Or no? Sometimes I do. Sometimes. I do. Well, there's a I do that. Tool that you should have. Yeah. Oh, right. Even even if the video's been uploaded, 
mm -hmm. and still go back and yeah. use the blurring tool. Yep. And you can blur out. Like, if people request me and like, hey, they send me an email or like, I got my address, my per like, no, my, my business address on my on my description box, and they send me a letter. Hey, can you just blur me, please? Like, I'm on child support, and I don't want them to know that I work there. I'm like, I guess I blur you, you know, right. stuff like that. So, or like, there is females, you know, that hey, my boyfriend, he's a crazy guy, and I don't want him to know that I'm, I work here. So I blur her face because I understand the point. So I do that. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, or kids. I don't. If I film a kid, I blur I his face. That. Yeah, but we try not to film kids at all. Yeah. I try not to film kids, but yep. if there was like maybe I didn't know was one that walked into my shot. The blurring yep. tool is pretty easy, and you don't have to take the video down. Yep. You can blur it without having to like shake. So why do these? Why do some of these like critical incident videos get taken down from YouTube? We just take it down. Sometimes lawyers tell us to take it down. Uh, like most, yeah, most of my YouTube is not gonna take a video down off of you. I'll tell you straight up, they're not because they're gonna lose revenue. Right. And they ain't gonna lose revenue. I'll tell you straight up. So we just put it private and then they give us the option, put it private, you're gonna keep your revenue and everybody's happy and we just put it private. Okay. Yep. So then people that just are members of your website. Can't see it. Can't see yeah, it. yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Even if you're subscribed, you won't be able to because there is a pay feature for you to watch those private videos. Right. Yeah, and YouTube allows us to do that, so. Cool. Yeah. You know, I yeah. recently audited a place <laughs> and I didn't, I, the video had been up for several months, almost a year actually. And I um, come to find out, I, I, I saw my sister, and uh, it was a place that one of her sister's okay. friends, my sister's friend worked, and she got, oh, sorry. I think he's busy. Uh, Zebra 14. Zebra 14, 10 to 1. 10 to 1. 10 to 1, 10 to 1. That's pretty cool. Go all day without radio traffic. <laughs> I'm actually doing something. Oh, you, you got a call? <laughs> yeah, they Go ahead. Yeah, we right, don't want to yeah, take our time. Yeah, we won't. Very all professional. Right. I like you. I like it. Nice. All right. right. Yeah. Have a good day. All right. Stay safe. Peter, right? Yes, sir. I'm going to tell my people to give you a compliment. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Stay safe. All right, Casey Cameron, boys. That's it. Very professional guy there. I got to give him credit. Ooh. Night bitch in there. There we go. That's it. So we just wanted to highlight the example there that he was talking about. You see? I could be a body there. 